الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين I think the reason to join ISOC is it's it's like a package deal that you join not just one society but many societies you can join a uh, you're doing a maths degree you can join a maths uh, society or you can join any sports society but when you join the ISOC you kind of join all of these things brothers will get together to play football they will get together to uh, if there's a group of brothers doing the same subjects we'll put them together so that the older years can uh, mentor the younger years because they've been there in the same place so they get all this stuff at home they get careers advice we have a lot of uh, alumni who still stay in contact and if they've uh, applied for a certain sector of job or a job then they give advice to younger students as well who are also looking to enter the same field as well so uh, i think the main reason is we every isoc provides so much for its members that i don't think there's any other society in any university that can provide as much as the isocs do for their students Often people ask me, why do you need to come to the Islamic Society? What's important about coming to the Islamic Society? How is this relevant to my university experience? Uh, I'm studying politics, I'm studying economics, law. Shouldn't I be focusing on that? Uh, my answer usually to them is the fact that Islam encompasses all of those subjects into one. Islam falls into all of those categories and it's very important to understand that. So basically, if you ask me what we do in at the University of uh, Nottingham Islamic Society, I would say we have a lot of different events that will appeal to everyone. So for example, if you need to increase your Iman and seek sacred knowledge, you can come to our uh, weekly halakas that we do. We have Tajweed classes, we have uh, uh, Tafsir classes, we have Fiqh classes as well. Uh, we have also um, a different sort of uh, socials and events every week. So we have, uh, for example, football for brothers, badminton for sisters. It's, it's nice you have, uh, you have people on this side of the spectrum, people on that side, and a bunch in between. Uh, and that's always good. On a Tuesday, we've got our halakha service where the brothers go through a certain topic that the students choose. So the topic can range from aqidah through to jinn stories. Um, on Wednesday, we'll have a social event or a talk. And uh, on the Thursday we've got the football, which the brothers come together and play football, and it's a way of getting the brothers and the students within this within the Islamic university, within the Islamic society, to come together on the one place, enjoy some fun activities. I was part of the Islamic society in college, and obviously uh, coming into university, I wanted to look for a similar sort of environment where I could sell myself into, and I met the uh, Islamic society in University of Birmingham. Um, I remember it was a volunteering um, event that I attended first and it was, I felt very comfortable because no one sort of gave you the look of oh, that guy's new or oh, he's just walked in, we haven't, we haven't seen him before, everyone shakes your hand, everyone's like oh, how are you doing? For this year we have planned a lot of events on top of having the Islamic Awareness Week. We have another event coming soon inshallah at the end of uh, October, beginning of November, uh, Prophet Awareness Day because of what's going on on the news, so we thought the necessity that we need to do something. But uh, in order to talk about, you know, the annual events and the biggest events that we have, you know, uh, we have Charity Week, which happens every year and at the same time in the first semester. We have Discovery Islam Week. So if people are interested in fundraising and volunteering, that's a great venue for them to uh, do whatever they want to do. Uh, also, we have a camping creek camping trip that happens at the end of each year and also for the master's student and the PhD students who will be around during the summer period when Ramadans come uh, we have iftars every day we have around 110 uh, people turn up for the iftars uh, this year as well honestly um, we try to cater for all the needs of the Muslim students in the Islamic society and the ISO for Oxford Brooks University has uh, for the past few years been pretty much non-existent. Unfortunately it hasn't been operating as well as it should have been and uh, this year our main focus is to get kick-started again and getting uh, speakers in, as many events for the brothers and sisters to go ahead as possible. Um, we've already been pretty successful in having a freshers meal and bringing some of the brothers from Fosis down and we've had some really good turnout. So there is interest for it, we just need to provide as much, um, as many events as possible for the, for the brothers and sisters. Sometimes we tend to forget that ISOC has a very important role for the non-Muslims as well to kind of uh, tell them what Islam is. Uh, 
what uh, clear any misconceptions that they ha may have in Islam. And I think very importantly as well, uh, the role of the ISOC is there to join the communities, to have better links with the other communities on campus as well. So inshallah, one of the things I'm actually looking forward to here is uh, working with other communities as well. Um, I, as an undergrad at Berkeley, again, in the States, one of the things we do is that we work a lot with other marginalized communities. Um, and I think there's something to be said about um, different groups of people coming together for each other's causes. Um, and inshallah, I'm looking forward to that happening here as well. And of course, as the motto is, um, hold on to the rock of Allah and let's not disunite. People, they, they join the ISOC, well, they, they don't join the ISOC rather, and they're, they're like, uh, you know, I've got my studies, which is fine, like, you know, studies are important, that's why you're at university. But um, just to share like a small anecdote, like, uh, you know, I, I sort of had these, you know, these, these question marks over my head. Uh, but then when I joined, I, I met quite a few others who are in more senior, you know, a few PhD guys doing economics. And, uh, you know, they helped out, they helped out. Like, you know, there was a guy uh, sort of in the field that I'm looking at. Um, and, uh, you know, sort of, uh, we, had, we had some good conversation. Uh, and, um, you know, I mean, it, it, you're more than likely to find someone who's, who's going to be in your field. And, uh, and if not, you know, even that's a blessing because you get to learn about, uh, you know, about, about what everyone else is, 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 is studying and, and learning and, and, and sort of, an, yeah, all round, all round stuff. So it's, it's all good. Um, so yeah, join, join your ISOC. Yeah, contribute to it. That's, yeah. Every single one, every member will find something that will suit him, will inspire him, uh, and he will enjoy the company, the brotherhood, uh, and all of that, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum وإنه السميع والبصير والأول الآخر والستير الله